Hi hey friends, how are you? So today I'm here to review the new collection by MAC. So I have a few goodies from the Loud and Clear collection and I'm going to be sharing them with you. Yeah. New friend, I do hope you take a second to hit that red subscribe button and there for more video videos. And without further ado, let's start. My friends, so super excited for today's video. We're gonna be reviewing Mac's newest collection, which is the Loud and Clear collection for spring. I did purchase uh, the extra dimension. This is how they come packaged. And this one I purchased in the shade Post Modernist Peach. So they did come up with two extra dimension products. I did get the, uh, the more subtle one. So they have this one. They have more of a rose gold one. I did purchase two of their lipsticks. I did purchase the Barrel Cat. Barrel Cat, the internet. And then I purchased Yash. And then um, I did purchase the blush, which is the most exciting thing in my, in my opinion. So this is the guy, this is how they come packaged. I got the shade, it's so natural. So this is what the blush looks like. So it's all clear, all around it. As I said, this is the so natural uh, shade and um, it says Glow Play Blush. So that's the name of the blushes. And um, this is the inside of the guy. So as you can see, the new packaging is all clear all around. Even you're able to see um, the bottom of the product, so even the inside. So that's that. And then this is uh, the extra dimension, same thing. All clear all around it. And then um, it feels just like MAC packaging, you know, really sturdy. I really like the look of it, to be honest. I think it's super simplistic, super minimalistic. I love it. I think it's precious. I am in love with this packaging. So no complaints there. As you can see, I have all my complexion pretty much all finished and just waiting to do a little bit of blush. So we're gonna start off with this guy. That's so natural shade. Okay, so let's start playing. Uh, the first product that I'm going to be playing is the blush, but I did wanted to read the details. And it says, touch and glow. Play your way with all new bouncy blushes. This innovative ultra soft cushiony blush creates a flawless radiant look when applied with fingers or a brush. I'm going to be applying it with this dual fiber brush. This one is from e.l.f. It's their staple brush. I did go into a store. I did purchase everything online, but yesterday I did happen to go into store store to start applying and talking uh, because I wanted to see their other shades so I wanted the mauve shade but they actually um, they had an issue with the names on the bottom of the packaging for that a specific shade I was at uh, Yorktel and they said they couldn't sell it to me so that was a shame because it was a pretty shade I did swatch that and I fell in love um, I knew this was going to be the, of course, this so natural blush, as in names suggested. I wasn't even sure if it was going to show up in my skin tone. It looks super natural. It's showing up. I'm pretty sure you're able to see it in camera. It gives you a super dewy glow. And um, the MAC counter person was telling me that you could apply it, you know, as a cream kind of product so before you set or you can do it with your face already set because the formula is super freaky it doesn't look spludgy or anything like that but at the same time you know it just blends super nicely i like this color it's super natural just like the name um i wasn't sure again if it was gonna show up on my skin tone but i quite like it i think it's really really pretty the claims on these blushes are that are lightweight spongy texture all they wear um they stay true to color and they give you a radiant dermatologically tested and non non acnegenic so that's that. It cost me, um, I did bought it from a Canadian website, so Mac Canada, it was 33 bucks. Let's do a little bit of a swatch before we move on to the um, extra dimension color. And as you can see, it shows up, it's really pretty. It blends super nicely. It's a little bit, it's super neutral, so it's a beige neutral, just like the description. I think it says golden beige, and I agree. And um, yeah, I like it. So let's move on onto the extra dimension. 
skin finish is super pretty when you open it up you see that detail on the product is so so nice let's do a swatch so, since we are here I did swatch this in store and I was able to apply it so it is super super subtle it is super natural it blends so nice look at that so I did so this is a more subtle color that they have this is their most the post modernist patch so let's apply it with um, this real techniques uh, setting brush so it's like a you know brush like this so we're just gonna go so because the blush already has some radiance to it you may think that this here was um, the extra dimension and it isn't. This is super, super subtle. I don't know if you're able to see that. It is super subtle. Yeah, so the glow it gives you is super, super subtle. I liked it. I wore it yesterday, like I said, when I went into the store, I wasn't wearing any highlight and I, I applied it. And in natural lighting, it looks super, 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 super natural. So if you're thinking that this is going to be like an in-your-face kind of highlight, it isn't. It is super subtle. But I did like that I did make a choice to go with this one, even though it's the lighter one. Because the other one was too rose goldy and I, I don't think that's... um you know um, highlight that I want to apply on my face I think that one is for like mm, medium tan tan to deeper skin tones so if you're lighter I think you're really gonna like this one the the lighter one but yeah I'm I'm really liking my products I'm really liking how it looks uh, let's move on on to the two looks super pretty packaging let me check out the packaging look at this I like this one more than their original ones I think they're stunning I did purchase two shades and this is my kind of color all the time so and of course I had to go with Yash because this is a color that I was eyeing for the longest time but I've never purchased it I thought you know what another nude I don't really need another one uh, but whenever it came out in this package and I'm like okay deal done um, and this is what it looks like so let me apply it and you see what it looks like So this is Jazz. And Jazz is one of their mattes, um, uh, Max Mattes lipsticks. Now let's do work at the internet. This is what the shade looks like. Alrighty guys, so I finished off my eyes and I came back, I set everything with my glow recipe and I did put the uh, Josh, Josh back on my lips and this is uh, what my face is looking like. I really like the blush, I think it looks super natural, it gives you a really nice and healthy due to your skin so I'm really happy about the blush. Um, the mineralized skin finish again i wore it yesterday out so i was able to see how it looks on like more natural lighting because here like i don't know if the camera is even picking that up but it looks so natural like i'm not wearing any highlight pretty much i'm like piling this on and it's not really it's not really showing up but to be quite honest this is just like um, a finishing powder I think so that's how I'm gonna treat it as I don't think it's like a highlight because it's not really you know intense um, I don't know but I like it I like how it looks I like because it's super subtle so whenever I'm looking for a subtle highlight this where um, this is what I'm gonna reach for so I like the extra dimension that one was $41 I forgot to mention that um, and the blush I really like it and the lip colors I didn't purchase anything from their um, 
their uh, shadows because I, I don't like singles to be honest so I wasn't into trying those singles that I was never gonna use so that's that. Very friends, that was it for today. That was my mini and quick review of the Latin Clear Collection by MAC. Let me know in your comments below. Have you tried the other skin finish? Are uh, you going to try the older blushes? They have many, many shades on the blushes. They're super, super yummy. But I did want to try the formula first be before I purchased the other ones. I did go into the store and they're really, really bright. So uh, for spring and summer, I think they're going to be super, super fun. And I'm going to for sure pick up more because I am really liking um, interested to see how long they wear so whenever I'm editing this video make sure to check the box below because I'm gonna tell you if you wore for a long time or not because they claim to be a long wear today thank you so much for watching please do not forget to hit that red subscribe button for more beauty videos and I'll see you in my next one bye